Shantou the near side, it's a bobbing finish, 25 yards to go, Shantou lands the legend. Logician has got it tied up, he's going to make it five out of five, and a fifth St. Ledger for John Coulson. Gregory, last team finishing third in the um, Great Vulture Stakes at York. What did you make of that, of that performance? Well, he went a little quick early. When I saw the early fractions, I thought, oh, 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 we've just gone inside 12 seconds for a furlong. I think there were three of them trying to make the lead in order to boss the race, and they got all got in a bit of a scramble together early on. So I think you're not going to do those fractions over the first three and finish. Uh, it was obvious where the winner came from, 20 lengths out the back. So to that extent, look, he actually ran a very good race. Uh, and when Frankie accepted the fact, put his hands down, he galloped out well to the line and after the line. So I was probably very impressed from a point of view as, as, a, as a hard piece, a strong bit of work than as a race. He came out of it in very good order. If the weather is set fair, that won't bother him with being top of the ground. So, you know, I'd be very happy with them with him after the race. You know, you had a strong race in the Voltage. I, I, I've had luck going from the Voltage to the Ledger, but often I feel it's quite close if they get a hard race. Uh, and, and I've had a couple bounce. That can happen. But I'd, I'd be very pleased with him at this stage. He he's, seems in great order and very content in himself. He's got a great mind, he's a pretty laid-back character, and I think he'll enjoy the distance, and we're perfectly aware it's, uh, it looks like being a very, very good vintage uh, St. Ledger. And Frankie, he was on board your first Ledger winner, and he was also on board your most recent Ledger winner with Logician. Just, just how special would it be for him to sort of bow in his last well, classic? Well, I think the great world tour is going exceptionally well. He he's rolls into Deauville for one ride and wins the Jacques Marois. He, you know, he's had some wins the Judmont International at York, so and, and Ascot Gold Cups and 2,000 Guineas, and he won the Dubai Turf for us way back in Easter. So I think the the World Tour is going extremely well, and I'm sure he'd he'd love to cap it off at uh, Doncaster in the in the final classic. A rest came back after a bit of a break post Royal Ascot at Newbury, and what was was very impressive. Is, is yeah, we're very pleased with him. Uh, he took his race very well. He's in top order, but I think he'll, you know, if that's good to firm at Doncaster, I think you find him probably heading to Paris for the Chardonnay, a race like that, rather than be trying to run him. He's a, he's a lovely horse, but he rolls his knee, and to that extent, he'll, he'll enjoy more of what I call the autumn ground. And Middle Earth, is the plan still to, to supplement? Middle Earth at this stage to, uh, ran a really lovely race in the, the Melrose and I'm really happy with him. And uh, he's, he's a very strong likelihood, all being well, obviously your bloods, your scopes and all of that, uh, to be supplemented. He's been a horse we've always liked, but you know we've had a few niggles along the way and haven't been able to quite have a smooth run with him. But we're very much uh, had that up to that race. And if he's in great form, obviously, uh, Cat Racing have won the race before, and uh, and I think they're game to to go. It's the it's the last classic of the year. It's it's three year olds over a trip. He's proven he stays the trip, which let me tell you the one mile six and the, the yards. It's 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 a long straight. It tests it tests the tactical speed and the stamina. So he looks like he should be able to answer those two two calls.